We are in front of the St. Michael Market, which is called this way because it is in the same place where the Church of St. Michael of the Octos used to be. This church was one of the ten medieval parishes mentioned in the Madrid Charter of 1202. It was located near the door of Guadalajara, another one of the doors of the second wall of Madrid. Remember, the one built by the Christians. The church was affected by the Great Fire in the main plaza in 1790. Despite being restored, during the urban reforms of José Bonaparte, the temple was demolished, leaving the St. Michael Plaza in its place. Lope de Vega was baptized in that church. During the 19th century, an open-air market was set up on the site of the demolished church. The building that we see here was inaugurated in May 1916 as a food market. This centenary establishment, one of the few and best examples of iron architecture in the city, became the first gastronomic market in Madrid in May 2009. During 2018, the market experienced a period of consolidation of its gastronomic content, counting on renowned chefs at a national and international level. Imagine that they all add up to six Michelin stars. Spread over approximately 30 stalls, you will find top quality products and wines that come from all over Spain. Iberian ham, fresh seafood from Galicia, Mediterranean rice, cheeses from Castilla, Asturias, or the Basque country. In short, it is the ideal place for gourmet tapas. So, remember, when you are having tapas in the St. Michael markets, you are in the space occupied by the parish where on December 6, 1562, the great Lope de Vega was baptized. A few steps from here is Plaza del Conde de Miranda, where the convent of the Corpus Christi nuns is, commonly known as Las Carboneras Convent. Madrid in the 17th century was a convent city. If we look at a map of the city at that time, approximately a third of the land was occupied by convents and monasteries. This convent specifically was founded in the time of Philip III in 1607, by Beatriz Ramírez de Mendoza, Countess of Castellar, for the Hieronymite nuns of Corpus Christi. This Beatriz was a descendant of Beatriz Galindo, the Latina. The founder's coat of arms can be seen above the entrance door to the church. The name of Carboneras is due to an image of the Immaculate Virgin found in a coal factory that was donated to the convent. It is a cloistered nunnery. Currently, only eight nuns live there, five from India and three from Spain. They make eight types of sweets with traditional and artisan recipes, and they sell them to the public, but yes, always through the lathe. The church has no main facade. Above the door, we see a 17th century relief of St. Jerome and St. Paula adoring the Eucharist, flanked by the coat of arms of the founders. The interior is preserved intact with a single nave floor plan without chapels. The altar does not stand out either in plan or elevation and is only distinguished by the elevation of the presbytery and by the large arch that acts as a screen separating it from the nave. In the main altarpiece, there is a painting of the Last Supper by Vicente Carducho. Thank you.